Hey. Hello. Hello. We're here at to play Expo Blackpool. Yes, very much. And you've done your reveal of the ZX Next. Tell me how you feel. How oh, great. I was so anxious about, about how people are going to take it, right? And it was, people clapped and everything when I showed it on screen. What more can you say? Well, so it, it, all these months kind of holding back now, it's finally out there. Yeah, yeah, we have been working on it for quite a while, talking about how we're going to make it, how cool it's going to be, the problems, the challenges, what the features it should have. And uh, all of a sudden, it's out and people can give feedback on it. It's pretty cool. So the link below uh, is to the uh, proper interview. We've got a, an hour long um, piece on um, this uh, video, yeah. which, uh, it, you know, this is uh, an introduction to that. And people can watch that in full. Um, but give me, uh, in a nutshell, what that talk meant for you to kind of get that out there to the fans today at Play Expo. It's, it's the biggest step, right? Because before it was all cooking under that oven and we never know if it would happen or not. And now it's happening, it's real. People have seen the design that Rick Dickinson made, how amazing it is. They discussed about the features and all the stuff that the machine can do. They learned more about it and now everybody's excited. So there's no turning back. Now it's full on. Full forward. And what yeah. kind of reaction did you get? I mean, you obviously spoke to some people. They kind of flocked to you after the um, yes. presentation. What kind of feedback have you had so far? Well, it's early days, I know. Early days, the feedback was amazing. There were very good technical questions, and uh, on Twitter right now, it's exploding. Everybody retweeting it and saying, oh my God, I don't believe it. Finally, I was waiting for this. I was like, really? People waiting for that? And we've done it? It's great. It's really cool. Do you think, I mean, Sinclair and, and uh, Rick, you know, very highly regarded as a, as a brand, and um, do you think there's still that passion for that kind of thing right now? From what I have seen, that passion is still very much alive and kicking. Yes, not just in the, in the hearts of the people who make the games, but the people who just love playing them. And they want a new machine to be able to play them with all the comforts and the bells and whistles that we have put into it. And back it on that neatly and nice design, right? And the design is important to you then? Uh, absolutely. Remember, the first Spectrum was what it was in great amount because of the design, right? And we have to do that again. You have to live up to the same kind of impact that the original Spectrum had. There's no way we can do anything less than that. So having Rick uh, involved and uh, you know, very much part of the project was an important factor for you then? Oh, very much so. Uh, at the start it was just validation and us wanting to remain uh, truthful to the origins of the Spectrum. Get the original designer, Rick Dickinson, and get him to reimagine how it would be in a modern setting and so on. But after we saw the, the, the first designs, that infused us with even more passion and energy to get it done. Because, come on, this thing is much more beautiful than we ever expected it to be. Yeah, yeah. And above you there, we have the, uh, just zoom up there, the uh, Sinclair yeah, ZX128K. I yeah. mean, it, it's, it's a heritage thing. It's, you know, it's living on today. It must be a, a great feeling to take it forward to uh, I'm, I'm the a, Kickstarter. It's, 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 a big, it's a big honor to be able to do anything related to such a, a big brand, a market, so many people's lives as developers and players and, and so on. So, so I feel humbled by it. So now, obviously, you've done the kind of a quick intro at Play Expo. For anybody um, not actually at the event, and we're doing this a few days after getting this um, video out, if you want to find out about the ZX uh, Next and kind of, you know, what you're doing with it, how, how would you go about doing that? Well, we put up a website up, call it uh, specnext. Specnext, okay, yeah. that's down. S-P-E-X, up, sorry, S-P-E-C and E-X-T, specnext.com. Uh, and as soon as you sign up for it, we're going to keep on churning out information about the specs of the machine, uh, when it's going to come out, when the Kickstarter is going to go live, and any questions that people want, want to learn. About. Great. And, and the Kickstarter is imminent then, pretty much? Yes, yes. A couple of things to get in place, and after that is done, Kickstarter is out. Excellent. And then his fingers crossed. Yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations for today. Um, people are even clapping. Yeah, um, yeah. Which, you know, <laughs> it must was have been a very good thing surprising. For you. The first time it appeared on the screen, everybody just broke out in clapping. It was very spontaneous and great. And we look forward to when you launch and getting all the news out on the, uh, the ZX Next. And uh, obviously, we're big specky enthusiasts ourselves, and we'll be following it uh, on all the social channels and, and your show, social channels as well. Thank Thanks you very, very much. much. And uh, we'll see you soon. See you soon, sir. Cheers.